Greetings and salutations everybody, and my name is Dark Chaotix one here, bringing you another volume of Railway Series Customs. Today we shall be looking at the one and only meme legend himself, Stanley. Welcome Stanley, welcome Stanley, welcome Stanley, welcome Stanley, welcome... Anyway, so aside from that little trip, this here is my Stanley. He is based off of a Kitson Works build, 060ST. There is one Kitson Works, 060ST preserved, I believe. At least the one that I based him off of specifically is preserved, so yeah. I used that as my inspiration, and here you can see it paid off. He is almost an exact replica of that, but in my scale. From the saddle tank right down to the bunker design. Which, funnily enough, this act this section on the real thing actually stored coal as well as this back section, so make all that what you will. I think it's pretty clever. But yeah, he was built by Kitson. Obviously, I guess in terms of a story wise perspective, he would have worked in a workshop, get purchased, run a few trains near Great Waterton, which is basically the whole introduction of his character. But then I guess he'd probably settle down as a main shunter at the yard there. Or either there, or he'd become a utility tank engine and just go from yard to yard helping where needed. That actually is something I wonder. Why is he only a station pilot nowadays instead of working at Great Waterton? Did something happen? Did Great Waterton go down? Somebody please answer this question. Why is this man homeless? He needs a home. Starting a trust fund for him. Anyway! That aside, I have done my best to model everything to the highest degree from this safety valve straight down to the bunker. You can even get a little glimpse of the back. Boop. Boop. He has, of course, a radio on his side because that's a thing. And I've given him a blank face because I feel like he wouldn't really, you know, have express his emotions much. He is the 29th engine, because I thought it'd be cool. But with that all out of the way, I guess we should probably start comparing him to another engine. Billy. Funny story I want to get into. Back when I had the original customs from the first volume of Railway Series Customs, I had made Stanley, Charlie, and Billy all cabless manning mortals. Don't ask me why. I don't even remember why. I think it's because I thought that they were all the same. Well, sense smacked me upside the head, so now they're different. One's a Manning Wardle, one's a Kitson build. And here you can see the differences. One is stubby and cabless, while one is long, bulky, and... Well, Kitson-y. Ain't much to it. Now let's move him out the way. And get him next to a fellow yard shunter, or dock shunter in this case. Rosie, and you can definitely see the difference between a Yankee build and a Kitson build right here, from length straight down to frame design. Intriguing. Anyway, let's take it back to the number one rival of this boy, or at least thought to be rival. There he is. That's... J50 Thomas next to Kitson built Stanley. I don't quite understand why these two nut jobs would be rivals, but hey, he always has to hate the new character, right? That's always his thing. Don't worry though, I think he learned sense. But anyway, with all that out of the way, here they all are together as a great big violence family, or chaotic family, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what classifies as violence or chaotic to these. Four, but I know out of them, at least three out of four of them have done something. Brief pause, had to check something. But anyway, there they are, the crazy family. There ain't really much else to say, I guess. I mean, he's a Kitson build, he works hard, and he, he's basically Stano. Or the meme lord, welcome Stanley, dot JPEG has stopped working, 404. Anyway, quick thing. So, high school's kicking into gear, so things will be a bit more time crunchy. However, 
I have a bit time, a bit of time to still do things like writing an NWRS or Rose Series profiles, or doing videos like these. And if you've noticed, I have updated the channel's profile pic, and I will likely update the banner sometime soon. Why did I do this? Because hmm, it felt about right. I've had this channel for about three years. But with all that aside, the uh, original mascot, Studio Series Optimus, has sadly passed away, so we shall pay our respects with a millisecond of silence. And silence is over. He has been replaced, though. But, hey, he kicked this off, so we buried him with the highest degree of respect. With that being said, there ain't much to continue on about. Expect another NNWRS chapter soon this Saturday, because I've noticed that y'all like reading on Saturdays. With that being said, this has been Dark Chaotix 1, and I shall be seeing you next time. Bye!